Hello everyone, my name's Ilir2 and welcome to my Let's Play of Civilization 4 with the Beyond the Sword DLC with Caveman to Cosmos. Yes, so last series um, it glitched out and totally fucked with the entire entire series. Seriously, I have no idea what the hell happened. Just maintenance went up to 80, it makes no sense. But whatever, so now we will be playing a scenario because, uh, you know, might as well. So scenarios here, we, um, well, we have the Earth map, of course. We have the giant Earth map. Ugh, I do not want to play on giant. In fact, I think I'll just be playing on large. Is it SEM? 10% larger standard Earth map. No, pr no present, no preset sieves by Harrier. Or 20 sieves. Wait. 20 That's a lot of fucking sieves. Uh, Sergio. Yeah, okay. So we'll be playing as no preset large Earth map. That basically means we can play as any civilization on the map. Uh, so we will be playing as the United States of America with the Uni with uh, Washington. Now, what does his things do here? All right, so charismatic helps with um, happiness and brings up happiness with all those buildings. Damn, and diplomacy bonus, uh, recruitment center. Oh, come on, really? You have to go down. Uh, protective. Oh, he's protective. Oh, he is. Um, less war, anger. Free trench power for gunpowder units. That makes sense. Ooh. And less um, crime in cities. Cities with crime greater than revolution? I think that's what it is. I don't know. And the revolutionary is plus one anger, so never mind. Oh, it's a negative trait. Ah, okay. And then negative one gold per city. Negative 10% gold? Damn. All right. All right, I see how it is. And then it goes plus three crime. That makes no sense. His his bone, his bone, good traits basically negate his bad traits. That's weird. So uh, I can build the North American native culture and the native culture of human. All right. And Native American and North American culture is like all the Native Americans in North America. And, of course, the United States culture. Uh, we'll be playing as, well... Earlier too, obviously, playing the United States. And we will be playing as Noble this time. I think Prince was a little bit too hard for me. And uh, let's go Marathon again. All right, because we don't want it to be too slow. Any any Let's Play that's way too slow just becomes boring, am I right? Am I right? Two super spies. Experiment with different combinations of spy promotions. Who knows? You might just end up with your own James Bond. I mean, maybe, I guess. I see, I can't. I see, you'll never get to this stage. You'll always get to like this stage, and then you'll either get bored with the game, or the game will slow down to a point where you don't even know what to do anymore. You'll definitely never get up to this stage. Colonization, don't even think about it. Unless you play on a really small game. No, no, no. You're, if it's a small game, the, the game will end before you even reach this stage. So, yeah, if you ever play on a large map. Good luck. Good fucking luck. Alright, so where do we start? Plains, fresh water. I don't know. Where do you suggest we start? Well, we're on a mountain. Well, not a mountain. A hill near a ton of water. And some grasslands. Some a peat bog? I don't know what the, no idea what that As is. You wish. Is this like, what, Russia? No. Maybe. I don't know. So we started with Washington, D.C., obviously. We'll have an alpha female, first and foremost. And let's get language. And you, of course, can defend. And you try to figure out where the hell we even are. This will be interesting to see. We already were losing money? Are you kidding me? Damn. All right, well, go ahead. Try to search the land. See, I hope we're in Europe, because I tested the game, and in Europe, there's a ton of fucking resources. I mean, I mean like, a ton of resources. Mount Sinai, alright, well, again, I'd love to figure out where the hell... Wait, is this... mountains? Hmm... Where in the world are we? We're not in Africa. There aren't any junk... Oh, this is Anatolia, isn't it? Okay, is it Anatolia? I think it is. 
because that would be where Constantinople or really Istanbul where Istanbul is no no yeah there would be more mountains if it was Anatolia and it'd be a lot smaller too uh, native language oh I should have said yes uh, of course we say yes revolution nomadic lifestyle language is not only yeah 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 shut up thought. it is a great and efficient instrument in thinking okay so there's a tundra yes is this North America this might be the old world Okay. Civilization is now known as the city-state of... Yeah, well, whatever. I don't know what the difference between a tribe and a city-state is, but whatever. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Oh, we have a caribou. So we are in the north. A map. Oh, no, we are in Europe. Oh, thank God. All right, so this is indeed... Uh, Russia, that's where it is. All right, so we have Denmark, and this is the Scandinavian Peninsula. All right, all right, I just need that one map. All right, so good. Um, Europe is extremely resource-rich. That is an amazing, amazing place to be. Hopefully there aren't any or many other civs in Europe right now. Let's get gathering as soon as possible. All right, and community discussions, why not? All right, so... Uh, Fuck it, go down into, into, into the Deutschland. Yeah, that's just good. All right, all right, good, good, good to know, good to know. Oh, damn, someone already got Gatherer. I don't know why we're in the negatives. That really sucks. But whatever. We can deal with it. And we, yeah, Russia is not the best place to start off in. I mean, there's more like the Ukraine, I guess. I guess, like, Kiev would be down here. But either way. Lake Baikal has been discovered. All right, so um, meager wealth. No, no, we basically make no money. Yeah, that's not gonna help at all. Mm, whatever, we'll wait. We have nothing else. Animal myth requirement has been built. Good for you guys. All right, and there should there are two wonders right here and over here. Actually, why don't you discover it? When, when you discover it first, you gain a ton of gold. That's a good thing. Alright, so now we can get scavenging. Or herbalism. No, we want herbalism first, probably. Probably want herbalism. Ooh, yes, wheat! That is a good find. Good find indeed. Alright, why don't you go there? Alright, good, good, good. And collect the wheat. That'll let us get a bit more health. I'm the first to discover this land. I get 125 gold. Awesome. All right, now go find, I think, the Devil's Table. I think that's what it's called. It's like a big rock. It's a rock with another rock on top of it. Looks like a table. The Devil's Table, apparently. From what I hear. Uh, you know, stop producing meager wealth. It's not really helping you. All right, and then get, like, stick gathering shit. Get, like, real things that we actually need. All right, now go ahead and get... Yeah, scavenging. Yeah, they'll let you find all the animals. Alright. So we also are probably going to want to go straight for uh, the tool making and stuff. Oh shit, the Portuguese. Where are they? Oh no, I think they're in France. That really fucking sucks. Wait, have they not found the Devil's Table? Alright, alright. See how it is. Oh, okay, so they have found, so I'm sure they are in France. And France is like, oh, no, there they are. France is like the best place ever, because I started in France last time, and oh my god, the resources you have there. It, it, like, every single tile. Every single tile has resource. It's fucking ridiculous. All right, but we have horses and a bit more wheat. Okay, good. Uh, we're not, should we go banditry? I don't know. Let's check it real quick. I think banditry is what we're going to want. Uh, yeah, more military production. Yeah, overall, just better. Go ahead. And... 
Let's get controlled fire so we can get cooking to again help our health. Uh, wild herbs. Okay, so there they are down in uh, southern France. Ooh, wild boar. I will want that. Alright, good. I'm going to have to get that back to Washington then. As safely as I can. Alright, so uh, heal up, first of all. We're going to need that. Uh, you as well, I suppose, Mr. Boar. Damn. Well, that's our first rival, I suppose. And, I mean, I, I guess I want to build another one, but it, like going... I'll, I'll just get killed. Because he only has one strength, so he's not that good. Here, run away now. Just try and get home. Try is the uh, key word there. Ooh, Mount Everest has been discovered. Good for you guys. Right, you know what? Just go home as quickly as you can. As efficiently as you can. Alright, hopefully with the berry bushes we can get rid of the sickness. And if not, I'm sure cooking will. Oh shit, I right clicked on it. And it always takes like a minute to load this shit. Alright, get away. If you ever catch on fire, Go cooking. Alright, that helps with oh, basically so everything. Especially the earthworm gatherer. Might as well get it then. Alright, yeah. So how much sickness do we have in our city? Or not sickness, but unhealthiness. Uh, we only need two more. All right. So that means fire pit or wild mushrooms. Let's get wild mushrooms. Not only that, it helps with food. And, okay, so we have donkeys and deer, more horses, ooh, grapes. All this stuff will help with uh, health and stuff. It's definitely what I need. And, of course, you know, just happiness in general. And happiness is good as well. Why does it cost so much? Jesus. All right. Um, let's go with fire pit. Helps with health. And cooking should get rid of health or unhealthiness altogether. I think so. Oh. Volcano? Where? I have no idea where. But whatever. I would love, I would love it if you told me where it was. Jesus Christ. All right, let's go tool making. So long you defended you against a bison. Oh, good job. Seriously. Plane. Took some balls. Yes. All right, so again, heal up. As much as you can. Try and stay in the forest now, since, of course, being in the forest, actually, uh, you know, you have a bonus. Actually go up into the uh, hills as well. Probably, probably won't be able to kill you. Maybe the moose. Maybe the moose. Probably the moose. Damn it! A wolverine. No, okay, so the, it, the stone thrower was killed by a moose, and then the boar was killed by a wolverine. Great, great. Just what I wanted. Uh, so go ahead and get... Okay, so we're healthy now. Good. Let's go ahead and get a seed camp. Lichen gatherer? No, no, no. Let's get bug catcher. Why not? Should be good enough. Alright, and with tool making, I think then we could start going down percussion. Yeah, like hard stone percussion. Yeah, hard hammer percussion. That's what it is. In fact, why don't you just look at the big picture and go down to get piercing. So we can get that spiked clubment to really up our army. Man is a tool using animal. Okay, Nowhere so now without tools. go without with... Tools, he is nothing. With tools, he is all. Seed camp? Root tubers? Either way. Either one. They both are awesome. They are both awesome. Okay, and it's going to take us forever to get a second population going. You know what would be amazing? If we got a second city, like, from one of these uh, villagers. Because, yes, you can actually get that before you get tribal. You can get a second fucking city, and it's amazing to have that advantage. It really helps out. Especially this early in the game. As you can't bug catch your fire pit. Getting all this food production. Oh, and we have stone in this area as well. Again, not close enough for me to actually work it, but I could gather it. And I'll talk, that's all that really matters. Alright, and keep going. Get the myths. No. We get a uh, rock gatherer. Alright, good. Good, and we got some gold from the villagers. Eh, not the best, but not the worst. Alright, these guys are stuck inside my territory. That's awesome. 
So we have horses and more wheat. Well, horses are awesome. I mean, not only because it gives us a ton of production and food, but it also gives us, you know, you know, horses. Horses are a great thing to have, especially early in the game. Because then you get a horseman, and horsemen are like level, like not level, they're at strength 6, which is stronger than anything else in that time. So, obviously, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing to have. Alright, get Lycan Gatherer. More production and helps with the sickness. Oh, forests. Also some amber, or not amber, resin. Some deer, well deer is also there. And hopefully we can go for our druidism and get that first. Lycan Gatherer. You know, what's our production? making what eight per turn no ten per turn how much would it help if we oh we can't even do the uh, help research all right never mind then uh, why don't we get not cracking stone yeah again food always important even just one little one more food it always helps I'm sure it does oh you guys no oh, you guys must have lost your guys well makes sense Again, the, the, having, it's weird, because stone throwers and brutes can't take down, like, the simplest animal. That makes no sense, though. Like, how can you not take down a duck? Oh, I'm not the wealthiest nation, but obviously, it's probably from people discovering the, um, wonders of the world. Alright, so why don't you guys get Earthworm Gatherer? Yeah. Again, helps with food. And with piercing, we get the spiked clubmen, which means we can actually hunt down things. So with level 3... That's where things get easier. Level 3 strength, I should say. And of course, if the Neanderthals ever pop up and try to attack us, we should be able to take them down. Alright, so let's get cooperation. Cooperation is, in, fa is in fact a good thing. Of the king's enemies. And then I'd like to gather those horses. Again, the production they make is phenomenal. Come on, come on. There you go. Earthworm Gatherer done. We can now get Oral Tradition. Yeah, that is a good thing. That'll help with uh, technology. It'll give us big tech boost. Uh, let's get another Gatherer. Again, for the horses. And then watch a Nanfall come in and kill them. I swear to God if that happens. I'm gonna cry. Probably. Probably just cry. Hey, right, come on. Go ahead. Oral Tradition. Oh my God. We just popped up a lot. What the hell? All right, whatever. Let's get a spiked clubman. That's going to cost us a ton, but it'll be worth it. We'll be able to clear out all these crappy little animals here. That Arox could give us... No, I don't think it can give us cows yet, at least. The Lynx also cannot give us cats yet, because, again, we have to learn how to domesticate animals. We can't right now. Oral Tradition. Let's see. That. Oh, I think that helps technology by, like, 10%. Looked at it. No, 5%. And 5% learning, too. I wonder what learning even does. I haven't seen it do anything, like, ever. Alright. So, of course, we want to go and get Druidism as soon as possible so we can get that big boost in culture. Alright, and no one important yet. Just a bunch of Aurochs. Good, good, good. Alright, so that'll provide horses and give us plus one food. That'll be a very good area to, um, actually use. And, and just, just a note, they do place just uh, civilizations wherever. Like, the fact that we're just in Russia is just because. There's no real reason. Hell, we probably could have been placed in, like, the Caribbean. Or a Polynesian island. Oh, that would have sucked. Sure that really would have sucked. Oh, no, they didn't. They got oral tradition before us, and yet they didn't even adopt it. That seems weird. All right, let's get um, knowledge inheritance. Or actually, myth of fire, because it gives us uh, the same amount. Can you guys take them down? Oh, yes, you can. All right, good. We'll go crazy then. We're still not as powerful as the Portuguese. That's all right. That's all right. We're not planning on killing them anytime soon. That plus one everything really helps. And, of course, gaining experience. Also a good thing. Never hurts. All right, heal up. Maybe I should take down those Aurochs. One who walks in another yeah, yeah, shut up. No Alright, and... Meager research? So how much does that help? Uh, not much, but... 
I don't really have anything left to produce there that matters, so I think I'm gonna, going to ignore it. I'm just going to be in meager research for now. A little bit helps all the time. Did we capture one? Oh, no, we didn't. But hell, that gives us four food and two production. That definitely helps out. Definitely. Can you go attack them again? Might as well. Yes, you did capture it this time. All right, good, 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 good. Goody, goody, gumdrops. All right, yeah, cave dwelling. Nice. From the depths All right, of a cave. get out there. You get Master Hunter. Ooh, Master Hunters on. always help. And we do have the horses now. So, start producing. I know it hurts our growth just a little bit, but with the, all that production, mm, it helps. It helps so much. All right, and you'll be the animal hunter. Gut, gut, das ist gut. Being on a mountain and, and uh, you know, rivers all over us, the only ways you can really attack us is through here or here. Because everywhere else has a river crossing. Does not weave which is this good for way. us. Is um, no, let's get Master Hunter. Whatever he does to that the always web, helps. He does the hell is this? Is this a bison? Oh, it's a sea... Oh, it's a sea lion! I thought it was like a bison, but upside down. I'm like, what the hell? But no, oh, it's a sea lion. We're so far north, we have sea lions. That's adorable. All right. Some more of that. And you know what? This is probably where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so we started off on in Russia. It's a good area. Yeah, as you can see, Germany. Oh, my God, Germany and Poland. If you place the city like right here, you'd be filthy rich. Hmm. So many resources. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Alira 2, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.